is time for fall planting. So we're cleaning out some of the old plants and making space for some new ones. All right, Mama, what sort of plants are we planting for our fall planting? Um, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, some more lettuce and kale. Brussels sprouts! Mm. <laughs> As you can tell, little man is not a fan of Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Okay, you're not being videoed. Hi, video. <clears throat> I feel like my voice just cracked when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> you're painting the shelves, the, the, the actual shelves? I figured I'd paint the whole thing. No, no. I don't have to. No, I'll at least fine. be painting these edges, probably. Yeah. Whatever you want, darling. I just build it, you make it look pretty. <laughs> Little man and I were having to talk about that the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Was he asking? Kinda. I mentioned something else that we had worked on and that like you had made it pretty. Uh-huh. And he's like, but daddy, you built it. And I was like, yeah, I built it, but mommy's the one that makes stuff look pretty. <laughs> I just make it fixed. So this morning I am busy painting. Um, we have been painting the bathroom cabinet that Willis has been working on and I decided to do a little surprise and I'm going to paint the lower cabinet that was already existing in the camper. So I'm going to paint it white to go along with the cabinet. Um, Willis does not know that I'm doing this so it'll be a surprise for him tonight but I think it will help just tie everything together make it look clean. I like things being um, like lighter colors it makes it feel more open and spacious in the camper so that's the project today um, in just a second and I'll go show you guys what I have done so far so here we have our upper cabinets are just about done and I'm painting the lowers right now just got primer uh, here's the doors the other ones are uh, have been painted and they are drying at the moment so hopefully we'll be able to get it put up tonight. I'm pretty excited about that.
this is where the hinges are currently located on the back of the mirror. I'm hoping that by moving them out to the edge as far as I can, that it will still allow us to use the mirror in the location that it is. We shall see. All right, so we do have enough space. I had to bump out a little bit to make room for it, but we also now, the door won't stay shut um, because I had to remove a little device here that used to help hold the door shut. So what I'm gonna do now is see if I can put some hinges on that match the rest of the hinges because those hold the doors closed really well. And we'll just see if we can make that work. And as you can see, the other hinges work great to keep it closed. So there you have it. Finally, a finished product. Woo! So why don't we have to sit on the same set every time? Because it changes it up. But I, I like consistency. <sighs> but life isn't consistent. <laughs> No. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> okay, so tonight we are going to talk about <laughs> our week in the camper. So we have spent, just kind of for the fun of it and to test some things out, we spent a week in the camper, not this past week, but the week before, mm -hmm. just to, to see how some of the processes and things that we had already planned to do, how they were going to actually work. Now the camper's not done so there's definitely some of those things that we discovered that we needed that we knew we needed but we know we really need them and things that we didn't realize needed fixed or added that right. now we know right and how the kids did sleeping in the same room for pretty much a week straight yeah definitely <laughs> improved as the week went on so let's just start it, with that yeah okay so the I, I think that by the end of the week the going to bed process was much easier than the first night. Yes, the first night, I mean, I don't know how long it took all the kids to go to sleep. And they kept coming out and kept coming out and kept coming out and talking to each other and playing. Because um, right now only like two kids share a room and the other is by themselves in a room. Yeah. And so having all three of them in such a small space. But yes, by the end of the week, they were doing much better <clears throat> um, and had gotten to it and so something we are thinking about doing is putting um, curtains curtains across each one of their beds like privacy curtains mm -hmm. so they can't like see each other well and another thing is okay. little man's bed isn't entirely ready yet that's true and so he was down on the same level as curly top mm -hmm. and so that that interaction definitely did not go over smoothly there was a whole no. lot of <laughs> her kicking him him messing with her feet uh, hit him stealing animals and hiding them whenever she would come out. And so when he's up high, yeah. then that will work Th that, out much that better. That separation, I think, will definitely work much better. Mm -hmm. Someone who I did not expect to have a difficult time going to bed was Sunshine. Sunshine really had a bit of a difficult time going to bed with the other the kids so yeah. close to, to her. And there was actually several times she can reach the doorknob from where her pack and play was set up. Mm -hmm. And there was a couple times where she would like rattle the doorknob and I'd go over to see what's going on and she'd just like look up at me and go, <laughs> Hi daddy, love you. And then she was perfectly fine and would go back to bed after that. Yeah. Um, but just, yeah. So that went better by the end of the week. Yeah. Um, the <clears throat> next thing that we need to do... You want to talk about the storm? The storm. Oh yeah. So it stormed pretty good one Was it night. the first night or the second night? I think night? it was the second, second night. second night we were out there, we had a really bad rain thunderstorm come through. Mm -hmm. And a while back, there we noticed there was some leaks around the slide and a couple other spots. And so I'd already gotten some caulking. I'd gone up and like the actual RV caulking that you're supposed to use on the, the roofs. And I'd sealed up some things I'd noticed. Mm -hmm. But during this storm, we just started having a bunch of water come in multiple locations. Yeah. One of the spots was because I think the camper was not entirely level. It had sunk on the slide after out. a little while because mm -hmm. it was sitting partially on gravel and partially in like dirt. dirt. So it had like settled over the past couple months. Right. So the next day I went out and I re-leveled it, and so that that I think took care helped, of, took care of, of one problem. of the issues at least. Mm -hmm. But we there was definitely another issue around the door. I'll let you talk about the door. Um, there's like a spot along the sliding door where the um, 
you can tell the floor is like sinking just a little bit where water has probably come in. The door doesn't close all the way anymore and it could just be because it's sitting on a level ground um, and it could be because the floor is slightly damaged and sagging a little bit. Sagging. sagging. Not, we're not saying sinking. Sinking is a bad word. It's sagging a little sagging. bit. But water was coming in, I think, we think through that area maybe, um, and it was running under the cabinets into the kitchen. Maybe. So. Maybe. Yeah. The, the thing is, we didn't actually like find was. water under the cabinets, mm -hmm. but we think there's a chance that it was running under like the the laminate. Yeah. Possibly. So that's something that that's we're something gonna have we to have look to dig into, into a little bit. A little better. I'm hoping we don't have to dig into that too much. Mm -hmm. I really don't want to have to tear any cabinets out. I don't want to have to. Hopefully, it's too just much that flooring. little gap that's in the door um, that was causing the water to run in. If we can get that leveled out, then hopefully, hopefully that'll be better. We did open up the awning for the first time after that. We hadn't, there's not a whole lot of space over where the, the camper is right now to have the awning open. Mm -hmm. And so for the remainder of the week, I opened up the awning just so that if there was any more rain, it wouldn't even get near near that door or, yeah. or close to that side of the camper. So that that sort of is a temporary fix. It, you know, that'll keep water mm -hmm. from getting close to coming in that area, but it is not, not fixing the potential floor issue that we've yeah. got going on there. So that's an issue. Well, eating was definitely an adventure because since we don't have the table in yet, everyone is basically just sitting on the couch or sitting on the floor. Mm -hmm. And so eating is basically impossible at this <laughs> point um, in, in that space. Definitely, yeah. definitely need to get the table done That'll probably be the next project, one of the next projects mm -hmm. on the list. But uh, we knew that coming was coming. In. But yeah, so. we, we knew that was coming. So um, definitely something already on the list, but something reinforced that, that it needed to happen. Was a surprise. Um, we had noticed while we were sleeping out there that we were both in, in the master bedroom. We would like roll to the center, and um, it was like there was like a sagging. So I kind of assumed maybe the mattress itself was kind of sagging in the mm -hmm. middle. Like, the, it was just war in or something like yeah. that in the middle. Like, whoever had had before us, just that one person slept there in the middle the whole time. Um, and then Willis went to change to... What were, what were you doing? I was taking off... There was, like, this padded thing behind the, the head of the bed. Really Cre ugly. Created a head of the bed. I liked it. Winnie did not. I, 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 was, I guess I liked it because it was a padded space that I could sit up it and lean very, against. very, like early 90-ish, late 80s pattern. I didn't want that as decor I in my house. I figured we could repattern it. I mean, but we'll just put something new on it. But, but anyways, he's taking that off. I was taking it off because I was being a good husband and allowing my wife to, to have what she wanted in, at the master bed. Uh, yeah, style over comfort, I guess. So as I was taking that off, I had to pull the mattress out. And when I pulled the mattress out, we knew that the guy who owned it before us had done a little bit of work to the frame of the master bed because he'd put a full-size queen mattress on it, whereas they're designed for a queen-size width, but they're typically a little bit shorter. And so he had done a little bit of work to it. We knew that ahead of time. We found out that in his little bit of work that he did, he, there, the middle area of the, the frame is not enforced. And so that the, as I was sitting on the bed and had pulled the mattress out, that the, the whole frame was literally sagging in the middle. So the, the, the board that everything was sitting on was sagging. So it's not the mattress that was wore out. Mm -hmm. It was actually the box that the mattress is sitting on was the whole thing was sagging in the middle. Obviously not ideal, not something you want to be that way. So that's something that's going to have to go on the to-do list of things to fix. Other thing that uh, I haven't even dug into yet, we're gonna have to figure out why it was doing it, was the fact that our water heater keep tripping. The breaker kept tripping on the water heater. And the water heater or the air conditioning? The water heater. The air oh, conditioning okay. was tripping too. Yeah. I think I know what that was. But the water heater kept tripping. And uh, last, I didn't tell you this, but last time I went out to look at it, the breaker actually wouldn't reset. It kept tripping immediately. So I need to, to bring home my electrical tools and figure out what's going on there so that's another thing that we need to figure out so, so but it was enjoy. a fun week it was like, a fun week we enjoyed staying out there it was fun um it's back to being a construction zone again and all yes, the house we're stuff painting is, now yeah 
So yeah, are, you'll see those videos probably and, next week. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of pictures. We don't have as much mm -hmm. video going on of the painting process because it's typically both of us painting at the same time. And uh, we, I guess we could set the phone up and uh, video kind of yeah. as we're working, but we'll we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll do that next week. Yeah. So, yeah, is that it? I think so. All right. Questions for you guys. We want to get some feedback. In the beginning of this video, we were doing our fall planting. We want to know if you do fall planting, and if you do, what is it that you plant? Mm -hmm. And are there any vegetables that your children just do not like, no matter how much you make them nice or pretty or allow them to have sweat equity in them? We've discovered that some vegetables our kids will like because they came out of our own garden, mm -hmm. but there are some, like the Brussels sprouts, that little man so far, there's nothing we can do to, to, to <laughs> no. make him enjoy Brussels sprouts, which I guess is not that big a deal. It's pretty common, it's a, I think. Yeah, yeah, but so are there vegetables that your children do not like? And if you do fall planting, what is it that you plant? So I think that's it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around, even though we skipped a week. Thanks for sticking around and watching our video this week. And we'll see you next week.